Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and operating Zechariah 10 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Ask of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clothes and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. For the idols have spoken vanity and the, div and the diviners have seen a lie and have told false dreams, they comfort in vain. Therefore they went their way as a flock. They were troubled because there was no shepherd. Mine anger was kindled against the shepherds, and I punished the goats. For the Lord of hosts hath visited his flock, the house of Judah, and hath made them as his goodly horse in the battle. Out of him came forth the corner, out of him the nail, out of him the battle bow, out of him every oppressor together. And they shall be as mighty men which tread down their enemies in the mire of the street in the battle. And they shall fight because the Lord is with them, and the riders on horses shall be confounded. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them again to place them for I have mercy upon them, and they shall be as though I had not cast them off, for I am the Lord their God, and will hear them. And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as through wine. Yea, their children shall see it and be glad, their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. And I will hiss for them and gather them, for I have redeemed them, and they shall increase as they have increased. And I will sow them among the people, and they shall remember me in far countries, and they shall live with their children and turn again. I will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt, and gather them out of Assyria, and I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon, and place, and place shall not be found for them. And he shall pass through the sea with affliction, and shall smite the waves with the sea, and all the deeps of the river shall dry up, and the pride of Assyria shall be brought down, and the scepter of Egypt shall depart away, and I will strengthen them in the Lord, and they shall walk up and down in his name, saith the Lord. Alright guys, so the Lord is here again telling us of the fact that he will take back his people, he, has re he will redeem his people. Right? They shall be redeemed and they will be risen up. They will come back to the place where he intends for them and they will be prosperous. And for the places that they were in, that they were basically subject to captivity and oppression, those places will meet their demise. Assyria and Egypt being two which are proclaimed. And even they themselves will come to know God. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna leave that right there. I hope this scripture will basically encourage you to continue to have hope in the Lord and to know that He loves you so much that He gives you many chances. He always extends His grace towards you. As he did with the children of Israel and Judah, he will with you. He will forever extend his grace towards you. So just allow him to come into your heart and come into your life. And make manifest all his beautiful giftings and his wondrous splendor in your life. Alright? So guys, I'm going to leave that right there. Please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.